In this video, we take a look at how to create a professional corporate calendar like this. And this is coming up. Hello everybody and welcome to the channel once again. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're new here, please hit on the subscribe button. If you're old here, thank you so much for showing up. I want to say a very big thank you to you all for 20,000 subscribers. You guys are amazing. You guys are awesome. Let's see how fast we can get to 30,000 subscribers. And as usual, a link to download all these resources, just these three resources that I'll be using for this particular tutorial will be in the description. Go download it, practice it, and share it with me on Instagram. Let's get into the video. Now, today we decided to go the corporate way, the corporate style. So we're going to use EchoBank images. And I would like to pass this out that I got all of this from Google. I have no idea where it came from. I'm just using this for educational purpose only. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to create a new doc. So we go to file and then new. I'm using Photoshop CS6, but this should work for almost any other Photoshop version. So let's go to international paper and I'm going to click on A3 here and I'll click OK. The next thing that we want to do is to keep our design in perspective to keep it aligned. So what we're going to do is we go to view over here and new guide. And we're going to set a new guide of 50 percent you basically understand this as we proceed in the design so next off we go into our resources and the design that you saw wasn't actually anything very very complex it is very simple just these backgrounds but styled up in a couple of ways you understand so we have this first back background here or this first image so we're going to drag and drop it inside of photoshop from here and that is going to serve as our main background so you can place it over here just like that and this is a building here in ghana the ecobank building okay so one of the numerous ecobank buildings and this is going to serve as our background so right from there we're going to bring in our shapes which are going to be found when you go to the shapes here and i decided to go for the rounded rectangle now with a rounded rectangle if you use it by default you are most likely not to get it something like this okay so to make the edges or let me put it the radius very round for you you need to go to the radius here and you're going to set that to anywhere from 300 the higher it goes the more round the the edges become so i'm going to set mine to 500 like that and then if i make a rounded rectangle here you can see that it actually shows like this so this is not exactly what i want so let me just get rid of this one and i'm going to create a new one so i'll hold shift to create like a perfect one if you are in the latest versions of photoshop you don't need to do this as they've corrected their mistake so we're going to create a perfect rounded rectangle like this something pretty simple like that one and the edges like i've explained depends on how you want it so i'm going to change my color by clicking on the layer thumbnail here and i'm going to change that to black i press ctrl t to transform it and i'm going to turn the edge something like that very curved and i'll push it to the very top over here like that as simple as that and i'm going to double click on it so once i'm done with that i'm going to turn the opacity up to about 70 percent so that it creates a sort of transparency in the background that is the idea and from there i'm going to make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j i press ctrl t to transform it very little so something like this very little okay and then i'm going to increase the opacity that one you don't really have to do anything that much to it because you're going to place in an image so i can just go ahead and change the color here to white so that you can see exactly what we're doing so instead of this rounded rectangle that is where we put our second image before we bring in the image let's duplicate this let's make a copy of this so you select the two of the rounded rectangles you can even group them by pressing ctrl g if you don't want to get confused so you group them so this is the rounded rectangle so you make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then you can drag that one over here now what we want to do is we want to press ctrl t to transform this 
and make it very small so that it will touch the very bottom of this one and that creates that particular design that you see underneath of the design over there we're going to put just a test over there but inside of this one we're going to put in an image so let's quickly go back to our main rounded rectangle over here and let's open that one up so this is where we are placing our image okay so you make sure that that rectangle is selected and then you can go into the resources and you have your second image so we use this one first and we use this one the second time so we bring it inside of photoshop and then we can place it over here now you take your time to transform it but in order not to get confused you right click and you create a clipping mask so that you see that it is only affecting this particular rounded rectangle so you press ctrl t and then you can make that transformation and from that you can easily know exactly where it's ending because you don't want any white around the edges you want it to fill the entire rounded rectangle over there so from there we can just close this one up we will get back to it and make some beautiful touch-ups that will make the design popping right from there on top of this particular one that we just created we can add a rectangle over there that will put another sort of information on there so i'm going to place it underneath so it has to be underneath of all the rounded rectangles so it's going to be here and i'm going to pick a color from here so let me just double click and i'm going to try to choose a color from this side i i just hope that it blends okay so maybe this one is going to be different from what's in the thumbnail so let me try and just pick a color from here let's say this one looks good so i'm just picking the colors from the main images that we are using okay so right from there what we're going to do next is we're going to add our test so on top of all of these we're going to add our test and the first one that we want to add is this corporate calendar design so that is going to be the name of the institution or the corporation so i'm just going to pick the test tool t for the test tool and i'm going to paste it over here and i'm using a font called poppins so i'll change the color from here to white and i'll click ok and it is left aligned because i want to keep it left aligned so i'm just going to bring that one here i right click go into the blending options and i'm going to add a drop shadow to it so i'll increase my drop shadow a bit like that and the opacity would have to go up so that it can be seen right from there if you want you can just press ctrl t to open it up a bit something like this and you are good to go so from here we can make a duplicate by pressing ctrl j and then dragging this to the bottom here and we're going to change that particular font to a font called sfui display i'll leave link to download it in the description so um let me just go and find it over here right over there okay so over here we're going to type in 2021 and that is going to be title of our calendar so we press ctrl t and then you can open it up to be a bit bigger like this and you can push it up very small like that as well we don't want the current effect on it so we just double click on the effect here go to the blending options and then we can turn off the drop shadow what we want to add instead is the auto glow we want to make it glow so we're going to double click on the color here and then we're going to pick a bright color from this area so something I don't want that one let's say this color is going to be okay and we can increase the size here so that it can glow if you can see it over here so let's try a new color and let's see how it works let's bring it down like that i think this looks good and you can click ok when you are done next off you make another duplicate drag it over here we don't want the effect so you right click and then you can clear layer style so we're going to change this one instead to calendar so it is 2021 calendar so calendar like that and then you can press ctrl t transform it to be a bit smaller and then you can use your arrow keys to position it right over here and that means that we can go in and bring in our calendar so i got this calendar from calendar365.com i'll leave links in the description to get it so the calendar is already made up the date everything is scheduled so what we're going to do is we're going to make a crop of the portion and then we're going to bring it inside of our design all credits to calendar365 
gmail.com so you double click on this one and then you're going to open it and you want to cut a portion so if you see from the design here it means that we can't really bring a lot of calendars in here but depending on how you decide to restructure this design this is just to give you a glimpse of what you can do but depending on how you want to restructure this you can decide to bring let's say four of this in a row or two or three or even one just there so that the next ones will be on different backgrounds as well right so what i decided to do is over here just two will be enough for me so i'm just going to crop two out of this one so i'll go for my rectangular market tool and i'm going to make a selection over here and i'll press ctrl j to duplicate that send it to my main design and i can place it over here so i'll press ctrl t to transform this one make it quite bigger and then let me just bring in a guideline from here so that it can be around the side and this can be placed over there so if you take a very critical careful look here you can see that it goes overboard on this one and that means that we have to bring it underneath of this and that is quite simple you just locate this and it's right there and then you drag your layer underneath of that one so it can be on here so that you can't really see it and then you take your time to position it quite very simple the next set of thing that we're going to do will be any other thing and since we are designing this for sort of a corporate let me just shift this to the very edge of the guideline so that it will be in alignment all right so since we are designing this for a corporate one thing that you can do is you bring on something that is quite related to the corporation so in this case i just decided to get something from the ecobank website and it says that open an express account instantly so this is a free promo for ecobank okay if you know Eco any ecobank worker you can just tag them to see this work and what we're going to do from here is that we're going to make a duplicate of the calendar drag it here and then we can paste it like that so you paste it right over there and then you can press ctrl t transform it to be very simple like this and you can leave it over there so from there if there is any sort of inquiries or the website the mobile phone the office line anything you can put it over there as well or another thing that you can place underneath of here is the public holidays if that is something that you want to include on your calendar as well but since this is just a tutorial let me just make a duplicate of this open express here bring it down let's go into our test and then we have for more information call and this number please is my own number i have no affiliation whatsoever with ecobank this is just for tutorial and it's for educational purpose only so that is the reason why i'm just leaving my for any information on clarification on this design you can just whatsapp this number so i'm just going to place it over here and transform it and i can take time to make sure that there is enough space between these two guys so that the design can breathe and then i can select all of this for more information and give it a different color from here let me give it something quite brightening okay so something like that and the last thing that we want to add will be another test so we make a duplicate from here drag it to this side go into the test and we have the pan african bank and that is one of the things that ecobank uses so i can position it over here open it up select it all and i'm going to change this color to the one that we have here so that it will kind of reflect and i want to make it kind of bold so let me go back for poppins here and i can set this one to semi bold so right over there and then you can use the arrow keys to position it very well so the last things that we want to do is a retouch of the image you can see that it looks quite very pale so what we're going to select first will be our main background image this one here so you select that one you can use the indicator here to see that you are on the right layer and you right click and you rasterize that is pretty much because we want to apply the effect to it i made a full video explaining why we rasterize in photoshop link will be in the description so the first thing we do is we press Control shift and then L to level it or auto level it. And if nothing pops up, you can actually press control L to activate the levels. 
and then you can add a bit of levels to it like this so you can see the difference over there and you can take your time to adjust this one right over there like that and from there i can press ctrl u to add a bit of saturation to it as well so that it can be very very popping now we open this rounded rectangle image over there as well and then we can do the same thing to it so you can level it up and then you can open it from here as well if you want you can add a bit of saturation to it also and then you can click ok from there and that'll be it for the retouch the last thing that i want to show you how to do which i do in almost all of my calendar design is if you want to change or if you want to make a bit of slight change here if you don't want to use all blue you can quickly go for the calendar that we brought in here so this is how it works for any of them let's say you have this building of the bank you bring january and february on it on the next set that is uh, march april you can actually decide to change the images here so to do that all you need to do is go into that particular group and then you can turn off this one and bring in the other design that you want or the other building that you want to put in there if you are using images for your family you can use the family image as the background and a bit of your children here as well and that will be very so the last thing is you select the calendar image here and then you can go for your rectangular market tool you make a selection from here and that means that this one is the only one selected you can press ctrl to activate the hue and saturation and with a slight touch like this you can basically change the whole color to any color that suits you the more and that's it you can do the same thing for the rest of the images that you bring in february march april may june all of them you can change the colors to suit you as you want and with a, just a selection and a tweak in the hue and saturation you're going to get a different color to suit you and that wraps it up for this video thank you so much for sticking around to watch and i want to say again a very big thank you for getting us to 20,000 subscribers let's get to 30,000 subscribers in a very few months and that can be possible if you leave a like if you subscribe to the channel and if you share the videos and invite others to join the family and learn photoshop for free as well let me know if you come up with any design of this and you want to share on my instagram at say innocent twitter say innocent and on facebook innocent cable Artin. thank you so much for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one it's innocent here and bye